Hey guys, Mark Solar Games. Um, we're gonna do a little bit channel updates, July updates for everybody today. Um, yeah, so basically, um, sorry for like the lack of videos in July. What's going on in July? I guess it's summertime. Everyone's, you know, kind of chilling. Especially here in California, we like to um, take it easy. The weather's nice now. There's a lot of like outside, outdoor times. So um, yeah. Anyways, uh, no, just personally for me, the last two weeks has been hell. Like work has been super hard. Um, we're super busy. I don't know why, but it's just super busy. So I have not been able to spend a lot of time creating content for this channel. So there's that. That's pretty much why uh, a lot of the patron stuff are also a little bit delayed. Apologies on that, but hey, you know, we'll get to it when we get to it. So there's that. Um, what's going to happen for the month of July? Well, the first thing is, you know, as we've talked about for last month and whatever, there's going to be more GA content coming, right? So with magic content, I definitely feel very comfortable talking magic finance because that's the part I feel like I know a lot more. Now playing magic, I definitely feel like I know less and that's where I can provide some commentary, but I'm not as an expert as other people out there. And there's plenty of content creators who are creating content for magic from a player perspective. But uh, I figured, you know, not very many are doing the finance perspective. So I'll provide that uh, along with some other uh, content creators out there. But more GA content and the Grand Archive content I will be producing will actually have quite a bit about the gameplay because I am an avid player of this game. I'm, I'm challenging myself and pushing myself to be better at the game competitively. I have also, you know, come to realize that I probably will not be very, very good. Uh, because the players who are at the very, very top, they're just a different breed of people. So, hey, I'm really jealous, but uh, I'm going to try and challenge myself and push myself, but uh, we'll see. Um, okay, so patrons, right, for the patron updates. Um, yes, there will be a July special. No, I have not sent the info out yet. It's coming soon. Um, I'm trying to organize everything together and I'm trying to get something a little bit longer term coming, promise. Um, so basically we can have like a standard, uh, my idea here right now is that I wanna set up a couple booster boxes of Magic, Grand Archive, et cetera, just standard products, and set them at a price where I can kind of continue to supply and we don't have to talk about like, what's the current price for X product, right? So every month you, you can just buy more of certain products and then have that ready. That's my goal, but to achieve that point, I first have to lock in a good price on my end to be able to provide that to you. And number two, I have to be able to uh, lock in number, uh, a decent amount of supply, right? And of course, with like Amazon dumping products at low prices, whatever, it really screws up with my numbers because, you know, it doesn't look very good if I go to you and say, hey, you wanna buy this like box of Dominaria, whatever, remaster for, let's say, I don't know, like 130 bucks when Amazon just dumped it for 110, right? So like, there's really no point for me to go do anything like that. By the way, if I sold it for 130, I would be underwater. So honestly, I guess my Dominary Remastered boxes are just gonna sit there for forever. Um, yeah, apparently there's like way too many of those boxes out there. So it is what it is. But anyways, patron special is coming. I am also working on um, a couple other things. Uh, there was a patron special actually planned for July, slightly delayed because um, the source that was supposed to supply me those things did not like come through yet. So we're still negotiating, working out specific details, but I hope that I will have something for you maybe in the coming months. Ideally by the end of the year, we'll have that special uh, available for everyone. Um, I love the continued support. So thank you guys so much. I mean like the love from the community, the comments on the YouTube videos, uh, Discord discussions, uh, Patreon messages, I really love it. Thank you guys so much for being around, being a part of the, the Solar Games experience uh, overall. Um, dude, I'm getting messages on eBay and on TCG Player from buyers who are like, hey, I'm, I really enjoy your channel and I'm glad I can also purchase something from you. I really appreciate that. I'm, I'm so glad. And actually every one of those messages just bring a smile to my face. Um, I may not show it, you know, because obviously I'm not recording me like reading TCG player messages, but I really do appreciate it. So, you know, give a shout out to Ethan, for example, who's the latest person to send me a really nice message. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for sending that message. It was very heartfelt. Um, yeah. And I, 
I do the things I do because I, I do want to grow the community. I do want, and I do believe that, you know, all of us playing this card game, there's something special about, about magic, grand archive, whatever it is that we do together. Um, that is actually very important to me to have that. So appreciate the support. Thank you and keep it coming. By the way, if you haven't, if you don't know, I rarely do promotions of my like, you know, larger community, but I do have a Discord that you can join. Anyone can join. There's no like limitations, whatever. Obviously, there's patron sections that's patron only, but otherwise, like the whole entire Discord is open. I th I think most of my patrons just use the patron sections to like see the patron like specific messages and the deals. Most of them chat in the normal like uh, rooms anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, we're gonna try to get some Grand Archive playing, uh, maybe just, I don't know, whatever else we wanna play in the general channels too, so people can kind of see how the game goes, see what the cards are like, like that kind of stuff. Because I, I know a couple of my patrons do actually play Grand Archive, so I'd be happy to go and play the game with you and or show you how the game works, so no problems with that. Um, and lastly, look, this is gonna be a shorter update this time, obviously, but lastly, I know recently I've made some videos about sorcery and things like that, and it's kind of like riled some people up. And, you know, actually, right, the sorcery videos, I was not very positive about sorcery, especially on the competitive scene. And I may have been a little too harsh, you know, obviously not playing the game myself. It's, it may be too early to judge. So I will, I will take a step back and rethink some of those things and then do an up, update video later this weekend. But I do want to say thank you guys so much for the comments on that video. Because I think a lot of you actually, for the first time ever, uh, maybe not for the first time, I think a lot of the, my, my, my normal followers or subscribers are usually pretty good about this. Um, a lot of the comments are really, 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 really objective. And they, they, were, they were honest, they were open, and they were like, hey Mark, here's the things I enjoyed, here's the things I don't enjoy, here's why I don't enjoy them. I love that. Keep that coming. If I say something that's wrong, just let me know. Like the whole point here is like, look, everyone makes, makes, makes mistakes and we can have difference of opinion, right? I, I really respect that too. So I think it's really interesting whenever I read a comment like that and these like thoughtful people who kind of write comments that are, you know, not necessarily positive for me or not necessarily all hate and ne negative. And it's just actually like meaningful and actually useful. Um, I do appreciate those comments. I do read them. So again, keep them coming. I think sorcery, just you know, kind of like close, close this video out a little bit. Sorcery has potential and sorcery is hitting a market where honestly like magic has dropped the ball and sorcery among other games are picking that ball up and that's what's gonna happen. If wizard does all these stupid things and then everybody else says, hey, you know what? I see what you're doing over there. Uh, let me, you know, hold my beer. Let me show you how to really run a trading card game company or whatever. Yeah, people are gonna enjoy it. I still think though that sorcery has some design flaws that maybe it's not so apparent for everyone right now, but I think in about two or three months as more competitive players join the game and start defining the meta for the game, you're gonna see that some of the issues with especially the grid system and laying out the, the sites are gonna cause some new players frustration. And, one of the challenges or one of the things that you really want to be careful with a new card game is you don't want to create frustration for new players because they're new players. I mean, everybody's a new player essentially. And if you start a card game like year one, right, day one, and you kind of drive the new players away, that's not a good sign. Or the more casual amateur players away, it's usually not a good sign. And the reason I say this is when no one understands what the meta is, right? It's just kind of fun in games. But once you have established meta and you realize like the way that you put your sights down, how you map yourself from your avatar to your opponent's avatar matters, matters a lot. That's when basically it becomes more of a zero sum game and any mistake that a new player can make will be a little bit more devastating. And that's the whole point, right? So like you, why, why do players prefer to play Monopoly over chess? because a monopoly is more random and as card games have more randomness, it allows newer players to equalize more with professional players. Whereas chess, I mean, there's no randomness. It's all like given. So the best players win, right? The best players with the best moves, the best like thinking ahead wins. And so I just wish there's games that have kind of both. Obviously drawing a card is random, there's that. But adding elements where it makes it more formalized does make the game more competitive, which usually drives newer player away. Just something to think about too, right? 
And there's that. So usually the other part of it too for new players, a simple game, a simpler game is usually better because they're gonna be able to pick it up easier. Um, I think as a player who has played a lot of card games, board games, etc., I look at sorcery, I don't think it's very complicated. I feel like, I feel confident I can play a game of sorcery today. I'll by and large know what I'm doing. But there are elements, like I stated in that video, like for example, when with the fire avatar saying you can, you know, chuck a, chuck a sight and use it as a fireball. If you, you don't know what a fireball does, how do you judge how good that ability is? How do you actually play the ability? That's where I think a lot of the challenges come in. Um, or if your opponent doesn't know what a fireball does, right? You have to essentially have a fireball card on the side for them to reference. And this is where, again, like, I, like I'm saying for other things, the card itself doesn't explain what the card does. You have to actually use external references. It does make the card harder or the game harder to play, right? That unknown information, especially when it's an unknown card, right? Unknown information in hand is not the same as unknown information on the field. So there's a little bit of that. I don't really wanna dive into this a little bit too much. Um, I think I've said what I needed to say on that video. I will talk a little bit more about the finance element of sorcery and why I think it's succeeding right now in a different video. So there's that. But more to come for this month. And um, yeah, I, I love it. I love the fact that I'm able to do this and it's really fun for me still. So I'll just keep making content. So there's that. Mark Sola Games, I thank you for watching my July update and uh, stay classy.